Yeah, didn't you? Weren't you the one that taught me that uh, macaroni and cheese is not a main dish? Yes, I was. Yeah. I'm I'm this weird it's combination not. of, you know, professional white collars uh-huh. and white trash. Oh, yeah, we weren't good with money. <laughs> <laughs> there was a period we were not good at money, so we used to have a tray of macaroni and cheese with toast. Yeah, that's not a meal. That was fucking delicious. The craft. Frozen, you just throw it in there. Oh, God, how dare you? Oh, God, how white people don't know how to make macaroni and cheese. It's pasta. It's from Italians. <laughs> so you can only take 50% of the credit. Italians would be offended that you use Kraft macaroni and cheese. Wait a minute. Italians, do they make macaroni and cheese? That's not their thing. Yeah, it is. Macaroni and cheese. That's one of the, you meet an Italian, that's one of the first things that they say when they meet them. No. <laughs> you want some macaroni and cheese. Maybe it's spaghetti. Chip of beef on toast. Ch- now, remember when Chicken you. Chicken a la king. You made fun of me because I was like making a jet. We went out to dinner the other night and I was sort of like lovingly doing this kind of like. No, you weren't. And now and it was did because you just we, do? we were in. Okay, first of all, what I'm on my do? podcast. And I'm just being silly. Now, if you did what you did in Little Italy oh the other night God. in the in this apartment, I would have laughed. Uh-huh. We were sitting there, right? <laughs> I took Nia to we we got this restaurant when I first met my lovely wife. I took her to like ten years ago, right? So I'm mm-hmm. I'm trying like all day Longer going. Than that. Yeah, saying let's whatever, saying let's fucking go there. She's like, oh, I want to go to the Stone Cold Creamery and fucking uh, <laughs> what, what's that other stupid <laughs> burger place that everybody eats like it's crack. What, Shake Shack? Yeah, Shake Shack. Like I this. didn't say I want to go to Shake Shack over this. Anyway, whatever. Just tell the story. We go you to want, She wanted to go to some shiny place. And I wanted to go to the fucking old school home style. You know, you order like chicken parmesan. It's like, is that, is that, how long did you hammer this that this is only one chicken breast? This is like nine chicken breasts. Mm-hmm. And then you, you fucking plow your way through it. You wish you didn't eat it. But it was delicious. Mm-hmm. So we go there. And they're playing all this Italian music, right? They got mm-hmm. Dino on. When the moon hits you, I like a big mm-hmm. pizza pie. That's some more. Mm-hmm. And then Nia does, you know that thing that, you know, in Hollywood movies, when an Italian likes something, when he puts his thumb between <laughs> his index and his middle finger, brings them together with both hands. And like, he's going back and forth. Back and like, forth, like, that's a good a pizza sauce. <laughs> so the song's on, and Nia starts doing that at the table. Sticking her bottom lip out like, hey, you woke up a little bit. But like I'm doing some- it in a fun way because I'm bouncing along to the music because they were playing. And I was like, you know, I was just doing the whole. And I gesture. said, Nia, what if we were up in Harlem in some soul food restaurant, <laughs> okay, and they started playing some fucking R&B or whatever the fuck you guys are listening to, and I started to doing a bad version of some break dance and shit, <laughs> sticking my bottom lip out. You'd be like, if you don't stop fucking doing that, and you're sitting there with a white man, Nia. Huh? What What do you think? What do you think would happen? I'm saying, just show. Hey, it was out of respect. So it was culturally insensitive of me to do that. I didn't give a shit. I thought it was funny, but I didn't need the waiters. We still hadn't gotten all of our food, so I didn't need you fucking with our food. Listen, they had the whole rack of glasses and stuff, like right by the window, like right behind where we were sitting. I mean, come on. Can I ask you a question? If I took you to Chinatown, that food was delicious, though. By the way, delicious. Delish. Delish. Now, if I took you to English. if I took you to Chinatown, okay, and they were playing, the, you know, what did they, 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 I mean, they what? wouldn't because apparently that's offensive. Okay, then they started playing. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> if you were, uh, if they started playing some, everybody was kung fu fighting. Yeah, would you, what would you, what would you be doing? I go, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start doing this. <laughs> Everybody was kind and of full fun. And it, it would be offensive. I, but yeah, all right. I mean, I don't know. I, I, was, I really wasn't I'm not, trying to I'm be. not trying to be political correct guy. I'm just trying to get people not to spit in my food. Right. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to but do I here. But I wasn't like talking to the waiter like, hey, Bizan, bring me some more. Hey, fucking Vinny. Gabagoo. Like I wasn't trying to do that shit. Like I was on the fucking Sopran. Let me tell you about a story so true With sugar meat style and it's all so cool It's about a garment torn and frayed Getting this threads, the story conveyed Walking down the streets with holes in my teeth Each rip them here, part of me you see It ain't about the brand or the label it holds It's about the journey, the stories it unfolds In these ragged clothes I find my voice A testament to resilience, my choice From the streets to the stage I rock my style In my tatted shirt I walk that mile
ripped and torn, but still I stand in my ragged attire. I commit, it's not just fabric, it's a statement. I preach in my threadbare garment, I find my reason. From the barrio to the bar, I make my mark. In my worn out jeans, I leave a spark. And they call it rags, but I call it art. And every stitch and tear, I play my part. It's the struggle of the streets, the hustle so real. In my tattered jacket, I seal the deal. A symbol of defiance against the status quo. My passion, the pants, I let it show. It's not about the riches or the wealth I lack. In my faded hoodie, I stay on track. It's the heart of the hustle, the grind each day. In my worn out kips, I find my way. Ripped and torn, but still I stand. In my ragged attire. Command. It's not just fabric, it's a statement I preach. In my threadbare garment, I find my reach. So here's to the ones with the clothes that tear in our patched up attire we have. So let the world see our garments worn. For in our rags, our stories are born. In the language of the streets we speak. In our torn up clothes we find our peak. I know. Was, I wasn't doing that. All right. I, I mean, your your point is made. Yeah. My point is not about being culturally sensitive. It's about having people not fuck with your food. Okay? You want to do that on your own? Okay? <laughs> do it on your own time. You want to go in and get a bagel and be like, Oi, vey, with a lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get an everything bagel like you never had before. If you know what I mean there. <laughs> and I mean everything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is that a matzo ball there? <laughs> um... <laughs>